If you ever sit there wondering, hey, can I pretend to act like I'm being buff and going to the gym and pumping the iron so I can get muscles and impress people? Well, introducing Arm Wrestling Simulator, a guide to becoming jacked! All right. Welcome to Arm Wrestling Simulator. So I've got a brand new character here. He's a noob, looks like a noob, got the noob noodle haircut, all that jazz. I've accidentally left clicked a couple times and then I've gotten 11 strength on my bicep curl. But you're gonna start with zero. We're starting with zero. So we're gonna take you from zero to hero here with both my alt and, and then eventually we're gonna switch to my main and show you how good it is. But uh, there, there's a path to be followed. So when you first log in the game, the first thing that you don't want to do is type pet please in chat because everyone hates that. Don't do it. That's number one. But number two, this game has safeguards to keep higher level players from trading with lower level players. And I'll get into that. But basically, you have to be on the same world that they are and at least have a few rebirths to be able to trade. So let's first start off with the interface and how you can start gaining power. First thing you're gonna see here is this button down here, this one rep dumbbells, okay? So you just basically left click and you get a rep and you can see your bicep power going up. Now it's the weekend, so we're getting double strength and we do this over and over again. But if you notice over here, you've got two things, auto train and auto fight. So we're gonna auto train and you can choose biceps, hands, or knuckles. So let's choose knuckles, okay? So we start punching the punching bag and you can see that our knuckle strength is slowly going up, okay? And when we get to 400, we can use the bigger punching bag over there, which means we just move our character over there and start punching that. Uh, the other racks have the same thing. So as you get to a certain level, hey Lexi, as you get to a certain level, you can actually train with better equipment. So now we're getting nine as we've switched to the uh, 400 required punching bag, and the next one up is 3K. And I'm not going to bore you with this, so we're going to fast forward a little bit here. Let's run over to the other places here. You've got barbells for training your biceps, and we got hand strength, and you can see here. We can equip the, you know, one kilogram weight. Now we can equip the two kilogram weight as we have gotten enough. And at 150 hand strength, we'll be able to equip the three kilogram weight. And over time, what you can do is you can click this auto train button and then switch to another exercise and then switch back and it'll automatically select the highest level one that you need. So you don't have to go over to the rack every time and try to do it, okay? Uh, so just something to keep in mind. All right. So once we get strength, we need to talk about what we need to do to be able to hatch eggs because the way to get powerful in this game is a combination of four different things. Your rebirth level, your super rebirth level, the pets that you have and the arms that you have equipped. And then there's a fifth one if you decide to spend money on the game, which is uh, your game passes. And we're gonna talk about all of these in succession. But the first thing I wanna do is talk about how to hatch eggs and get pets, because that is really important. Now, if you play the game long enough, you'll notice here you'll have these gifts that you can claim. So you can claim a few wins, you claim some hand strength, and you can claim your first pet, All right? So we got an uncommon parrot. So if we go to the pets tab, you'll see the pet being equipped gives us times 2.60 strength on our reps here. So now we're actually, when we equip the pet, now we're doing 12. And at the start, we have three pet equipped slots. That's all we have. And over time, as we hatch more eggs and fill out our pet index, just like 
all your pet simulators out there, Pet Simulator X being the big one, you will be able to equip more pets. And for discovering 50, you get plus one. The next 50, you get another plus one. And there's also a couple upgrades you can get by super rebirthing, and we'll talk about that later, that give you another uh, couple pet slots for your time. All right? You can also purchase a lot of pet slots, and that is the pay to win part of this game that we will get into later. All right? Let's talk about the other things on here. So down here at the bottom, we've got a friends boost. The friends boost gives us an extra 10% we have a friend in so for every friend that you have playing on the server with you you have plus 10 percent you can usually get that up to about 80 or 90 percent you have a bunch of people playing on the weekends you get double the gains which is really nice and then occasionally you'll get a strength boost um, in the world okay arms are a new mechanic where as you beat opponents you can get arms that you attach to your character and they boost your strength level. So if your strength level, for example, is 3.1K and you have a 200% arm, then you're gonna get you know, 200% more strength represented on this number, not up here, but this here. This number here represents your total strength. This is your, I would say, your base strength, and then this is your strength with all the multipliers on it, all right? The biggest rate limiting step in this game is what we call wins. Wins come from actually arm wrestling opponents and beating them. So let's talk about getting wins. All right, so we're gonna walk up here. We're gonna challenge the bully. So we're gonna go to fight. And basically what you do is you tap your mouse, boom, and you get a win. And you fight him again. You tap your mouse. That's going to get old really quick, guys. You can go over here to auto fight, and I recommend you do this for everything. Just click who you want to fight, hands off, and it'll auto click up to six times a second for you and battle the guy every time for you to help build up with. So this allows you to effectively AFK. You can also use an auto clicker, and you can get close to about 10 clicks a second. But if you really want to get OP, you can use this auto click down here at the bottom, uh, which costs you some Robux. So if you if you click that, it's almost 700 Robux. Okay, we're not going to do that, and I haven't done that on my main account because the auto clicker will get you close to that. But if you get that, it is really OP. It starts you out at 12 clicks a second, and it really helps you to beat like those main bosses of each area. So pro tip number one, you always wanna be a little bit over the recommended, okay? Just a little bit over, it makes it a lot easier. And I'll show you why, because this one takes a few more taps. This gives us five wins here. But as we go here and we battle the teacher, it goes a little bit slower. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up until we can get to the third one and start building up some wins. And we need 15,000 wins to escape the first area. Well, that's not gonna be extremely easy to get on your own starting out, especially without any good pets. So your first goal is to get enough wins that you can start hatching pets from whatever event egg is in the room. All right, so if you notice that the pet index machine, there is a one win egg over here. And over here, there is a bunch of good pets. I recommend that you throw away this one here, and you throw away this one here, and you try to at least get some overseers, some evil overseers. So we're gonna do the auto here. Um, that costs 29 Robux. Um, totally worth it in my opinion, because uh, you're gonna be hatching a lot of eggs, but your mileage may vary. But for now, we're just gonna hit E a bunch, and open a bunch of eggs and until we can get some evil overseers okay so we're going to fast forward into that it's only five percent shouldn't take you too long or too many wins to be able to make that happen but with five percent you will eventually get these if you get lucky and get an evil owl well you're pretty much set for a little while 
I just want to reiterate, if you don't have someone to help give you some pets to get started in this world, go back to this event egg and hatch here. These, these pets right here, these are great to start with, but these pets are great and you want to accumulate these because in the next world, you can actually use the gold machine, combine five of them together and gold your pet for double the gains. You can also smash them together and make huge pets out of them. All right, so let's talk about rebirths. So rebirths, basically you trade all your strength to become reborn, okay? And in exchange for becoming reborn, you're gonna get some perks, okay? So one, your title goes up, and then every time you rebirth at baseline, you get 15% more gains on all the exercises you do. And these cost wins. So the first one is 25 wins, then 50 wins, then 100 wins, then 500 wins, and the next one is 1,000 wins. But now we're getting 60% more on our gains. Okay, now we're back to zero. And you're like, oh no, now what are we gonna do? Well, let's go punch here. Very easily getting up to speed here. Just by punching whatever here. So already up to 15K, and now we're up to 100K, so now we're getting 8.5K a punch. So you can see we're doing a lot more damage here, and we're getting a lot more mileage out of our training. It's going a lot faster. But we already have 2 million strength, and we're just killing it here. So let's go over to the final boss here, and just absolutely trounce him. And so we can see, just hands off again, I've got 625 wins there. And so we need to do this until we get 15,000 wins. And once we get 15,000 wins, we can leave the area and go to the gym, which is where I believe the game really starts to get fun and begins a little bit, because it has most of the mechanics there. All right, we have our 15,000 wins. It took us about six minutes total. So now we can, we've beaten the champion, we can walk through the store, and boom, now we're in the gym, okay? So here's the golden machine. We can take our pets, we can toss them in here and try to get a golden out. And we'll do that real quick and if I fail, I'll just go grab some other pets. But um, let's see, yes, so success. So if we go back to pets, I'll show you real quick. The purple dragon is now doing 85.50. We equip them now and we're training our hands, and we're doing some, some decent damage here. Right, we go over here and punch a little bit. I notice the requirements get a little steeper here, so now we need 2.3 million to move over to this one, then 3.7 million to move over to the, the final one, and of course if you're VIP, you can just walk right over there and punch that bag and get up to speed very, very quickly. So the goal is to get enough power here to start fighting these people and the first one is going to be a scrap trader and just to show you, you need 10 million recommended here 100 million recommended here 1.1 billion recommended here 11.3 billion recommended here and 120.9 billion recommended here you don't actually need that amount i'm going to auto fight the rogue ai really quick you actually need you know 36.2 billion I would recommend about 50 billion to be able to auto click through him pretty easily. But you'll need to sit in here and and train for a little bit. And so what you can do is just hit auto train, go over to the knuckle machine and just AFK for a little bit until you get enough. I kind of give you an idea of how much each of them gives. We'll start with the scrap trader here. So we're able to easily beat him with just the auto click. And we see here, we got 3,125 wins, okay? Wins are the gatekeeper in this game. It's not just strength, it is wins. 
and you're going to want to enchant your pets later. And the enchanting machine is right next to us. So I'm going to fight this guy one more time. I'm going to show you what the enchanting machine looks like at that point. All right, so nestled here in the corner is the enchantment machine. Okay. So here is your current rebirth level. And you can spend rebirths, not super rebirths, but rebirths to reset your character and spend a certain amount to get an enchantment on your pet. Now, in my opinion, the absolute best that you can get for your pets, if you are free to play, is this winner, winner three. Why? Because this gives you 20% more wins. I have this on all my pets. So every five pets that you have that has this winner, winner three, it doubles the amount of wins that you get when you beat an opponent. That is huge. It's gonna save you so much grinding time, especially if you're trying to super rebirth over and over and over again. So definitely recommend that you try to get these winner, winner buffs. You can start off with winner, winner two. I don't recommend winner, winner one, but when you get to world three and you get some good pets, you want to enchant them with at least winner, winner two, because that gives you 10% wins. At least gets you a little bit less grinding time on some of the bosses. But as you're gonna to see to get into world four, you need a lot of wins to be able to do that. And you're also going to need a lot of wins to hatch any type of event eggs in the future. So if you want to progress really quickly, that is the key to progressing really quickly is that winner winner enchantment on your pets. Lucky is a good one to have on a subset of pets that you have. If you're going to be AFK hatching for a while, I don't know how much it adds. Really, it says there's a percentage on these, 7% more luck on egg openings. I haven't found too much of a difference on that so far myself. And I'll go into that why when we go into the Game Pass discussion. All right, let's talk about the free gift. So if you click this claim gift here, and I'm gonna move myself out of the way here, you'll see here, um, I've got a lot of stuff to claim, but these void potions are exceptionally important. You definitely want those. If you don't have any pets yet, you can get the free pet. Um, in my opinion, they're not very good. The new thing is these tickets. These tickets can get you a really good pet with the current event. Um, at the, when you're viewing this video, they may or may not be around. Uh, I can tell you on the final world that my character is maxed out. Uh, the event pets are not worth it for my main character. Even the, uh, the epic Omega tier ones aren't worth it. Uh, they're underpowered. Even if I were to get a bunch of them, void them and huge them. Uh, but these, these gold potion and void potions are important because they allow you to hatch automatically pets that are golden or void for a period of time. And that'll save you from having to uh, gold your pets or even, or even wait for the void machine, which the void machine takes five hours to make a golden pet into a void pet. So again, your goal is you're gonna hang out here until you can beat the rogue AI and you accumulate 20 million wins up here. And it may be easier, you may be able to beat the rogue AI once, but it may be easier for you just to beat the rogue AI once and then farm the Ripper Dock because the Ripper Dock's a lot easier to beat. And so that'll go a lot quicker for you. Just a tip for those of you who are going through this for the first time and are free to play and only have three pet slots to start off with. All right, so let me show you guys how to craft bigs and huges. Well, you can either click this craft all, which if you don't have your pets locked, we're gonna smash them all together but you can click on one that you have. So I'm gonna take these gold purple dragons here. I'm gonna craft it into a big. And you can see now it's got a star and a little bit more power, okay? Now I've got these evil overseers here, 105, 105, 105 each. So they're 305 power. So if I smash both of these together, I'm gonna to get two of them. And they're 157.50 each now. 
and then I got a 128. So when I equip my best, end up with even better strength. So now I'm doing 88.2 hand strength. And if I go and punch the bag here, I'm doing 220.5K per punch. All right, we got some wins. So we're gonna rebirth again, just to show you what a difference it makes. So we're gonna rebirth with the maximum amount of wins that we have. So now we're getting 135%, even though we started from zero. So we're gonna start with our knuckles again. And now we're getting 330.7K per punch. I am 106.6 million strength here, okay? We're gonna go open the trail screens. So we can exchange our wins for one of these trails. And they go all the way up to 4.8 quadrillion uh, which gives you a 250% strength boost and a run boost. But here, we don't have that much. So I would recommend in this world trying to get either the red. The red is much better, but the yellow is fine right now. So if we make it active, you notice now that my strength number shows 128 million, despite only having 106 million up here. That's because I have a trail equip that gives me a bonus. So now if I go over here and I fight this cyber cop that was hard to fight earlier, if I hands off, should be much easier to beat him with auto click without me having to tap the mouse. And you can see here, now I'm getting 15,000 wins. I can beat him a few times and buy the next trail up and I get a 15% increase in my power. And that's gonna help you escape quicker because you don't have to train as long to get the equivalent power to beat the rogue AI. All right, so we've opened the trail screen again and we're gonna buy the 75K one. Notice I'm at 152.1 million strength. I'm gonna buy that red one here for 75,000 and now I'm at 171.1 million. Speaking of which, let's talk about arms now. Because we've beaten the opponent a couple times and you'll notice a couple times I've beaten the opponent, I got a key. Well, when you start out, you're going to get rusty keys and rusty chests, but if we go to the arms screen, you notice here we have a rust crate that we can open and eight keys. You can buy rust crates with wins. They cost 50k each for a crate, but we have five already, so we're going to use these to get in, see what kind of arm that we get. And ideally, you want at least a blue arm. Um, you don't want one of these gray arms. But if you can get a purple arm from the get go, that's an excellent boost to your power. Here's one that's 8%, that's nice. You can also gold these as of the last update, which is neat. So if you get a bunch of them that are the same, you can put them in the gold machine, smash them together, and hope that you get something good out of it. Oh, we almost got the 500% one, but no dice. Alright. So we go over here to arms and you can see what we can equip. So we have a hobo arm that gives us an additional 8% on our total muscle strength. So now we have a trail that gives us 30% and an arm that gives us 8%. If we run over here to the gold machine, hi Lexi, go to arms. We're going to smash these zombie ones together and see if we get the gold one. Nope. Better luck next time. So we're gonna keep the 8% one for now and just continue training because there's no point in um, losing the arms that you have. Yeah, activate beast mode, baby. Here we are, Sage of the Ages. This is my max level tune here. Notice my rebirth. I am maxed out. 3,615%. And I have maximum super rebirth, which is 30. I don't have all the buffs yet, and I'm gonna do a separate video on how to go from hero to zero to superhero again with all the buffs in as minimal time as possible. Uh, which I'm not looking forward to doing because it's gonna take a little bit of time, but you guys are worth it. So we will be doing that. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the power of super rebirth in a little bit but I'm going to start by showing you a tour of the other worlds. So you beat the rogue AI, you get 20 million wins, you walk through this door. 
you end up on the beach. All right, so back at the beach, we've unlocked leagues. So if we click the league button, you'll notice here that we have bronze, silver, golden. I have not really participated in leagues, but somehow I've ended up with points because people keep challenging me and losing. So you click find target and you can just basically fight them. Just click a bunch and like I'm just trouncing everybody. Uh, and then you just keep joining PvP. You know, what I do is I click out, I go to League, and you only get a certain amount of turns every so often. Poor guys only got in the trillions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use, and use all of mine just to show you what it's like. You can skip for a certain number of wins, but I never skip. If I lose, I lose. They can also try to revenge you, but every time someone revenges me at this point, like they get trounced. It's kind of funny to see. I get a little notification that they got trounced. Um, uh, but I also get a notification when someone uh, trounces me when I was weaker. But a uh, lot of fun if you like P asynchronous PvP. Uh, you get a little bit of currency for being in the top division, we'll call them. Bronze, silver, golden. And so, you know, I'll get silver here if I keep moving up. I don't find the rewards to be really that worth it uh, for PvP, but some people really love PvP and need that. All right, so let's show you around the beach here. It's got the same thing. Uh, VIP, you can use to punch like uh, our buddy here, Fake John, is doing. Uh, we've got eggs up here, not worth hatching in my opinion. And up here, this is where the grind really begins, okay? You need a minimum of 3.5, 9.8 recommended. Um, if we auto fight this guy, I'll show you what it really is. It's really 3.08, 4.4 billion. You know, I can easily trounce him, but when you first get here, you're gonna have to seriously train to even get him. Uh, even with my buffs, I only get 45 million wins. And eventually you're gonna to wanna to beat the Kraken boss. Okay, the Kraken boss gives a ton of wins, but he's very hard. So realistically, your first time through, what you're gonna do is you're gonna farm the friendly shark to try to get your five trillion wins that you need to get in the nuclear bunker. And then you're gonna to wanna to at least beat the Kraken boss once. Unless you like AFK overnight a couple times and get enough strength to basically chump on auto fight the Kraken boss over and over again, okay? With the pets that you get in these worlds, probably not worth your time. Now, this may change by the time um, I publish this, but right now there's Atlantis world and usually there's an event world or some type of event going on. But in Atlantis world here, the unique thing is that you start from scratch, but every time you super rebirth, your strength stays. So if I train in here, um, you know, I can very easily get my strength up and I can challenge the bosses over here. And you need 2.7 QA basically to chump this guy. So if we go over to Poseidon real quick, it's actually 1.3 QA, but I, I, I recommend more than that. And with the X2 buff right now, I'm getting about 9 million a win. And what's important about this is the crabs here are really the first pet worth hatching if you do not have access to the final world. And that's this egg here, this, these crab eggs. And it's really the water crab and the devil crabs that you're after. If you get lucky and get a ghost or glitch crab, like you win, like you're good. You know, you can you can easily cruise to the, you know, at least to the next world, if not uh, past that, if you're able to get one or two of these pets here. But an army of devil crabs that have been turned into huge and voided are just amazing. So definitely recommend if there's another world like this, an event world that is separate, grinding it, because usually the pets are worth it. 
because the strength is in the tens of thousands. And if we go to my pets down here, you can see the water crab, just a big water crab is 15,000, and a glowing water crab is 24,000. Really, really good. Now let's compare that to the event pet that's avoided, that's 4,000. So definitely want to show the power differential there. Let's go back to the beach, and I'm gonna show you the void machine real quick. So over here in the far corner, you've got a top winds here. Uh, but you can see a void machine. The void machine is very important. So I've got some Jim Triceratops cooking from Dino World, but I left some Stegosaurus over. So essentially, once you gold a pet, you can just click on it. it doesn't cost you anything. You can just craft a void, and you have to wait five real life hours to get your pet. Okay? Can't buy out of it or anything, but these will be finished cooking and they'll get a nice boost to their power. Void machine, extremely important. I know you guys want to see the nuclear bunker, so let's go in there. So you've beaten the Kraken, you've got over five trillion wins, you run in and you're in the nuclear bunker, this is what it looks like. Now people get confused and they see this machine over here, the mutation machine, they go, what the heck is that? I'm gonna show you real quick. Mutation machine takes your pets and mutates them and gives them a special buff. So if you have a void pet, I highly recommend putting them through the machine. So let's take this water crab that's got lucky one on it and mutate it. We get a 64% chance of it being glowing, a 35% being rainbow, which is really good. And then Ghost, I have, I have mutated so many pets, I've never seen Ghost. But this is what happens when you do it. And so we have a glowing pet here. And we will show you the difference in power between these, okay? So let's look at my Rainbow Gym Triceratops. 756,000 strength. The glowing gem Triceratops, which is the next step down, is 672. So almost a 100,000 difference right there in getting rainbow. So my team, I rainbowed all of them. Rainbowed and voided, absolutely. And I'm definitely going to enchant these. That's gonna be really important, okay? Now let's say that you have your pet entourage and you get something that you don't want. If you, if you look down here, you've got this health kit countdown. So the longer you stay in here training, so if you go F AFK in training here, every few minutes or so, you're gonna get a health kit. And that health kit allows you to go to this cure machine and take a pet that you don't like. So let's say, uh, let me find one that's just golden. So I got a glowing gym triceratops. I want to cure it of its mutation. All right, so I used up a health kit. Well, now I can go over here and mutate it again and roll the dice and see if I get a rainbow or a ghost. And now I've gotten a, a rainbow. So that was, uh, that was worth my time. So that's what we need to do. Oh, look, it's a beggar. You don't realize that you're on, um, can't trade with you because you're not in Dino World. So if you go in here, and this is the final world. This is Dino World. Now Dino World is tough to beat any of the bosses in here, uh, other than the first one. So just to show you what I'm getting, so I'm getting 227 trillion. Um, just with my hand strength training per tick but if you look here this is what is required to beat everybody and I'm going to show you right now for everyone that I can beat the final boss on auto this is it this is the hardest guy in the game and I jumped him with no hands look at that hashtag jumped 
love it. And he gives a good amount of wins, too. So, the best egg in the game is right here. Um, when you're starting out, you'll take whatever you can get from this egg. Um, I highly recommend these mythics right here, these gem triceratops. I've never gotten a gem T-Rex, um, even hatched overnight after grinding on the, uh, the main boss, the mammoth, for uh, a long time. But the gem T-Rex, I have not been able to get. I've seen one person get this so far. I know people have them because I see it once in a blue moon, uh, but definitely worth it if you can get it. All right, so let's talk game passes. So if we go to the store here, I will show you what is worth and what is not worth. I don't ever buy these. Look at this. Huge money bear. 2,500? No. Villain egg. OP. 300? No. Don't buy these guys. I don't know why. If people buy these, I don't know why they buy these. Okay? All right. Let me show you what's worth your money here if you're going to go non-free to play. So pet storage, 100 pet storage, definitely worth it if you're going to AFK, um, AFK hatch and try to get huges. Um, double hand strength. Um, so let me explain something here. When you first start the game, you will have a pass here that allows you to get all three double hand strength, knuckle strength, and bicep power. Do not buy this one by itself. Buy the one that gives you all three. You'll thank me later. It's It comes out to like less, like a little bit more than 100 Robux less, uh, but it'll give you more mileage. Double wins, definitely worth it because wins are what holds you back. Don't buy the triple egg, buy the eight egg if you're going to auto hatch a bunch. Um, this is definitely worth your, your money. It saves you a bunch of time. Auto rebirth, you are not gonna to wanna to auto rebirth for any reason. You're gonna to wanna to do that manually. Because can you imagine every time that you got enough wins that you auto rebirth and you had to retrain again? You do not want this under any reason. I don't even know why it's on here. Um, someone post in the comments if you have this, why you think this is useful. This is not useful. Um, the VIP pass is, in my opinion, worth it because you get triple training earnings and you get the custom tag, but that punching bag um, really helps accelerate you through the first two worlds. Magic eggs. You notice I don't own these, and um, that's because I use potions when I'm going to hatch in bulk, but it gives you a chance all the time of gold or void pets being hatched without the potion. Okay, so you can see what I own here and what I think is worth the money, um, with the exception of the three the three X pass for um, the bicep power, hand strength, and knuckle double strength. There's this pass over here, and you see it is worth it. Egg luck passes. I own them all. Why? Because I didn't start getting the good stuff until I had lucky three. I'm just gonna say that right now. In the event world, I started getting really good pets when I got lucky three. I think in this game, it makes a, a bigger difference. I think it makes less of a difference on the enchants, but uh, on this one, the lucky three seems to make a, a, a really good difference. I had lucky two for a while, it helped a bit, but the lucky three, I noticed a, a huge amount. I don't own any win packs. Don't really recommend the win packs. Um, you're going to have to grind those out anyway. Uh, these limited stock pets, just just no, don't do it. Unless unless like you're a dev or a content creator and you just have like Robux just to burn. Um, I can't see myself paying 170 or 17,500 for 150,000 pet when. Literally, I can go to Dino World and, or, or get someone from Dino World just to hand me one when they're super rebirthing. All right, so let's talk about potions for a second, okay? Um, I'm a little conflicted on this. 
this pack here is expensive. This is twenty five hundred. Um, when I look at this, I think I think of you know what is this going to get me? Well, you're always going to have golden and void potions. I mean, you can see just by doing my dailies, I got ninety six and seventy seven just by logging into the game and collecting the free gifts, right? Um, the luck boost only comes from the season pass, typically, or the spins. We'll talk about that. The double wins potion, almost never get these. Uh, you can buy five of them for 149. But the double wins buff is really, really good. And that that's the kicker. I would say the only reason to buy this here would be to have the double wins and the luck boost for eggs active 24 7 because that's the only way you're going to be able to do that and if you're really super into this game and you want to be cutting edge and you always want to have the best pets no matter what including those um omega and those like really really rare hatches you probably want to have all of these active at all times you can see i have not bought this i have the money to buy it I just choose not to. Um, and again, you guys are watching my videos to see what's worth your Robux. And I know a lot of you are out there just hustling, mowing lawns, doing chores, just to get a 10 bucks worth of Robux on a card. So I'm trying to advise you what's actually worth your money and you're gonna get the most mileage out of, okay? If you have money to burn, the all potions forever. If you're gonna play this game for a long time, probably worth it for convenience. But um, in my opinion, the, just having gold and void, void pets has been enough for me, along with the super lucky, um, super lucky game pass. All right. So that is my comments on the game passes. Let's talk about the season pass. So you're going to get quests for the seasons here. There's a free tier, and then there is a what I call a premium tier. And at the end of the premium tier, you can claim a Starry Dragon. It is 1,300 Robux for this, okay? Looks like I can claim the Lemonade Spirit. And that was a X1800 pet, which is pretty lame. And I imagine this is not that much better. What is good are these buffs that you can activate for five minutes. And notice that the 2X wins are in here. So you can get 2x wins occasionally. Um, this golden one for 25 minutes and this 2x wins for 25 minutes is really good. And when you're grinding and you wanna speed up the grind, especially if you're trying to uh, super rebirth and, and kind of get back from that, this can help you with your grind temporarily. So it's okay to do the quest and you can save the claim on these because these activate instantly after you claim them. They're not potions, they activate instantly. And the quests are pretty easy, you know, hatch some common pets from the from the newbie eggs, lift dumbbells. The weekly ones are the same, they're just more. So it's very easy to do these these quests. And then of course the premium, you know, you can get an additional pet equip slot for the season for 400. I have not done that. Um, I would argue that this is not an OP pet. Um, the 30% luck might be worth it, but Again, in this game, I have not purchased a premium pass because I don't think it is currently worth it at its current price point. Finally, let's talk about Super Rebirths and how it can benefit you. Okay, so I am maxed out. You can see maxed out my, my Rebirth plus my Super Rebirths give me 3,615% on any type of exercise that I do. That is huge. That's gonna give you tons of gains, okay? There's also this upgrades chevron here. If you click on this button, you can get certain upgrades. And I've got a few of them, the ones that I think were worth it. The one that there's a lot of controversy over is this plus one pet equip slots. The pet equip slots are very valuable. They're a force multiplier. The more pets that you can get, that's what's worth the, the best bang for your buck in this game in terms of Robux. The 2X wins and the amount of pet slots you can get, okay? The 
This costs 15 Super Rebirth tokens each. So every time you Super Rebirth, you get one of these star tokens. And when you expend them, then you lose that power and you have to Super Rebirth over and over again and max out over and over again to be able to build up those tokens and such until you can spend more. You can see the extra lucky here is 27. I've not bought that. Um, I don't know how much more mileage that's gonna give me. I didn't see a whole lot of mileage out of these first two, but I have not regretted getting these two extra pet equipped slots since I'm maxed out on pets. The walk speed, I don't see a point on it because the trails give you walk speed. And the faster you walk, the more the game seems to bug out when you're traveling between worlds. And I don't think that's a problem with the dev. I think that's a problem with Roblox in general and just how the scripts work. Um, pet storage is definitely useful. Each one of these you get is 20 extra slots. Uh, the first two are worth it. Um, I'm not sure five Super Rebirths are worth it unless you're grinding them out. The Enchant Luck, um, I've only done one, is not really been worth it. You can always just keep re-rolling. Um, you can very much, uh, and I'll show you in a different video in my in my Zero to Hero video with Super Rebirths and enchanting, um, how to enchant your pets effectively and uh, not have to worry about Enchant Luck. But we will probably max this out anyway, uh, just to see if it does make a difference for you guys in a separate video. But this is what I have and then maxed out. And like I said, I wanted to uh, max out the game, beat Dino World and, and really get ready for the next update. And now the next update day is here and we don't have another world. Um, I feel safe to say that I'm ready to do the next video, uh, Zero to Hero and, and go through that. But in the meantime, most of you are not to my place. Most of you are, are not, um, you know pay to win you're free to play and i get that i'm pay to win by choice because i want to bring you content i want to show you guys what's worth your robux because i know you value them um one last thing i'm going to show you we're going to talk about pet slots so each two pet slots cost you 129 robux um, I have 28 pet slots. I have one from the uh, pet index. I have two from the uh, super rebirths. Every one of them, others I bought with Robux. Absolutely worth it. 110% worth it. One, it's cool to walk around with a huge pet entourage. And number two, this is going to get you the most progress in the shortest amount of time, I promise you because you're gonna be able to equip more pets and be able to train faster. And you're gonna be able to enchant them more with Winner Winner 3, which is going to allow you for every five pets to get double the wins. So you can end up with, you have 25 pets equipped with Winner Winner 3, you know, 500% more wins every time you chump someone by arm wrestling them. All right, so that is my take on Arm Wrestling Simulator. A lot of people are playing this game now because of the uncertainty with Pet Simulator X, with Preston releasing a new game, and the lack of meaningful updates recently. A lot of people are playing Chess Simulator. There's a lot of people playing All-Star Tower Simulator. And an Arm Wrestling Simulator kind of came out of nowhere, and a ton of people are playing this. So I hope you find this guide useful. Here is a lovely picture of my pet entourage, all 28 of them all rainbow and beautiful and OT for your viewing pleasure. Hope you find this guide useful into your own journey. Hope you found my take on the game passes and your Robux spend to be worth your time and worth your money because I know you work hard for your Robux. So I'd just like to say thanks for watching. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell if you want to hear from me more. Until then, the doctor says stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs, stay awesome, doc out. Doc Legendary's in your head, doc legendary till you dead. Doc Legendary's here to stay, doc legendary every day.